Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Next Level Guitar. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today I have for you my top 10 tips on how to make your electric guitar sound better. I'm coming to you from my studio here in San Diego, California. This is probably a part of my studio that you've never seen before. This is my little chill lounge. I have a little uh, sofa set up in the corner, um, and uh, this is kind of where I kind of sit and think and you know, try to write some cool riffs and whatnot. So this is a little tone lounge part of my studio. Now these tips are in no particular order. They're all of equal importance. And beside this video, I have a free video lesson and ebook I'd like to send you. It's my biggest ebook ever on rock blues soloing. It's packed with like 29 scale diagrams. There's lessons in there on soloing strategies, major minor key, music theory, modal play. It's absolutely packed. It'll really help you along your guitar journey. And I'll send that to you along with a video lesson. Extended play, it's not on YouTube and uh, easy ways that you could spice up your soloing. It's packed with little pro tips and tidbits, but I'll send them both to you, the video lesson and the ebook. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Okay, so I would say number one, which would probably be the biggest single improvement you could make to your overall sound, would be playing in tune. You know, it, it sounds so easy, but so often, you know, you hear people play and their guitars are out of tune, and it really makes your guitar sound bad. So I would say you really want to continually check to make sure you're playing in tune, and not only that, that you're bending strings in tune. Bending out of pitch can sound really awful. Second thing, change your strings often. You know, aside from the people who actually like the sound of dead strings, and there is a small percentage that do, I think most people really enjoy the sound of new strings. And so many times, guitar players will come over and they'll have these old, decrepit strings that are rusting, and they just sound so dead, they don't hold tune well. And we put new strings on them, they hit their first, first chord, and they're like, oh my god, it's like a new guitar, right? New strings sound so fresh and 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 just full and full of life. Third thing, add a little reverb to your sound, right? Uh, turn that reverb up on your amp. Now, I'm not saying you know you should be swimming in reverb or anything, and you could use amp reverb, or if you don't have reverb built into your amp, get a pedal, a reverb pedal. But reverb is a really really awesome little spicy thing that you could add to your sound and it helps to add dimension it fills up space and it really can thicken your sound you know and nobody really likes that guitar sound that's just dry as toast but adding that little splash of reverb really wettens it up and makes it so much more beautiful sounding so try adding a splash of reverb fourth thing ensure that your guitar is set up properly you know it makes a big difference uh, it, it affects your overall guitar tone your sustain and and how you overall approach and look at the guitar right guitars have moving parts and every so often they need to be adjusted especially the intonation because if your intonation is out your guitar is really not going to sound good so you know you want to make sure that your guitar is in top-notch performing mode that the intonation is set right dead on you want to make sure you know the truss rod uh, is adjusted properly the neck release the saddle height, right? String height, your action, how you like it set. It just, it, it not only will make the guitar sound better, but it will affect the way that you approach the instrument, right? You'll be so much more likely to pick up a wonderfully playing and sounding guitar versus one where the strings are so far off the neck because the action's off, you really have to fight it so so hard, right? So get a good pro guitar setup, makes a big difference. Five, here's a no brainer. You wanna sound better on guitar, take some lessons, right? You know, I, I say it a lot in my videos, you can't learn less. And no matter how long you've been playing and no matter how much you know, there's always something new to discover on the instrument. It's such an amazing instrument, you always learn new things new ways to bend strings new ways to create sounds and you know and 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 having that knowledge from a lesson is sometimes will take you down a path that maybe you wouldn't have gone on your own before and it'll be so inspiring to you and you might be saying well I've been taking lessons from this teacher for a couple years now and it's great try another teacher um, not to say that one is better than the other, but just different because a different teacher will give you a different philosophy. And sometimes that will send you down a different path to explore all these creative things to experiment with, right? So take some lessons. And now in, in this age, you could take lessons from, you know, someone anywhere in the world via Skype or Zoom, you know, and top-notch guitar players all over the world are, are teaching private lessons. And you could dial that up on your computer. You could take private lessons from, you know, a guitar 
good teacher in your town, or you could even, you know, take some lessons online. But keep learning. And hey, if you could do me a big favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know what tips you have for making electric guitars sound better. And if you like this video, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, right? Share it. And thank you so much for your support. Number six, adjusting the pickup height on your guitar can make a big difference. Oftentimes I find a lot of student guitars, their pickups are too low. You wanna raise them up. And remember, the closer you bring that pickup to that string, the more output it's gonna have, the louder it's gonna be. Now I'm not saying go ahead and crank it up all the way, you know, because you, you don't want it too close to the string because then you might get some interference and, uh, and your notes might sound weird trying to sustain them and whatnot. But try moving it up a little bit and see how you like the sound. Oftentimes I find they're a little bit low and that little extra bit, you know, can make a big difference and make your guitar sound better. Number seven, guitar cables, right? You want to be make sure you're using the best quality cables that you can afford, and you also want to make sure that your cables are as short as possible, because the trick here is you really want low capacity low capacitance and low capacitance cables, right? On your pedal board, make sure you keep those cables short. You know, you don't need tremendously long cables. You know what I mean? What are you gonna be walking out into the crowd 25 feet, 50 feet, right? No, probably not. Keep your cables as short as possible to really help your overall tone and sound. And buy really good high quality cables and use the same brand of cable throughout your rig. Don't mix and match. I think it makes a little bit of a difference. You know, all these things add up. Number eight, you wanna sound better on guitar? Be an expert string muter, right? Let me let that sink in a second. Be an expert string muter. What does that mean? Well, as you probably know, especially if you're playing with any bit of gain on your guitar, you know, there's gonna be some string noise. You're gonna be hitting other strings and you've gotta mute out all that noise. Basically, you have to mute out every note that you are not playing. You only want to hear the ones that you are playing. So in order to do that, you have to use your, you know, your pick hand to mute out the low strings and your fret hand to mute out the high strings. Get both hands working together to mute out and deaden all that string noise. It's so important. It cleans up your sound. It makes you sound so much better. And if you don't know how to do that or you want some tips, I'll put a lesson in the cards on my two-handed string muting technique that'll really help you along in your journey and get you to sound better. But getting rid of all that string noise is an absolute must. Ninth thing is your EQ settings on your amp. You know, you want to sound better. Oftentimes when I go hear live music, so often the guitar player has his bass cranked way too high. And what happens is then uh, your sound gets flubby and muddy. You want to turn that bass way down. You don't want that much bass to anyway. You don't want to have to compete with the other low end, like from the bass player or the kick drum. Remember, there's only so much sonic space in the spectrum when you're playing, especially with other musicians, right? And the low end, is going to be taken up mostly by the bass and the kick drum, right? And the high end is going to be taken up mostly by the cymbals, the, the snare, probably the vocalist. So the guitar is more mid-range. The guitar is in that mid-range of the audio spectrum, right? So try turning that bass down and your mids up. That'll really help you your sound to cut through too. If you're having problems with getting your sound to cut through and you want to sound better, right? Mids up. The other thing is, if, 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 you're, if you're not cutting through, what do most guitar players do if they can't hear themselves, they're not cutting through? First thing they do, they turn up the volume on their amp. <laughs> Wrong. That's not gonna help you to cut through. The second thing guitar players do is they reach for the gain knob and they start turning up the gain. <laughs> Wrong again. That's not gonna help you to cut through. What you really wanna try is turn the gain down a bit and the mid-range up and the bass down. Try it. You'll be so amazed how your notes will just jump off the guitar. You'll be able to cut through the mix and sound amazing. That's a big problem. Try, I know it's a tough pill to swallow. Less gain, more mid-range, less bass. I play Mesa Boogie Amps live. I've been playing Mesa Boogie Amps a long time. I love them. I, I, my main stage rig now, I have a Mark V. I have my bass literally on two. You know, and that's a big thing with Mesa Amps a lot of times. you got to get that bass down. Now, I have a graphic EQ on that amp also and then I'll add a little bit in with that low slider throw it back in there that's another thing you could try turn your bass down get a graphic EQ pedal and then put it up a little bit and that sometimes will actually help get it more punchy right tenth thing and this is if you find yourself playing live or you find yourself playing with a band or something and, and all of a sudden your sound is a lot maybe thinner than you thought it was right I find this happens in some venues especially outside where the sound just keeps going it really thins out the guitar sound 
If you find that happening in certain venues or if you find that happening, you know, where you're playing in a certain area, here's a little trick that you could do to make your guitar sound better and thicker. Add a little bit of delay. Just a little bit of delay will thicken up your sound in those instances. And you could just add like, just add a little slap back or maybe just a little bit more uh, repeat than a slap back. Give it a try and you'll find that it will instantly thicken your sound and, and it's a good fix for those particular cases. Or if you just want a little bit thicker sound, give it a try, it'll really help your guitar sound better. So that's 10 things, but let me give you a little bonus tip. We'll go for number 11. Here's my 11th thing if you want to sound better on guitar. You're probably not going to like to hear this, but here it is. Play less notes. Let me repeat that. Less notes, more space, right? We're so, you know, enthralled as guitar players and uh, when we see players just totally burning up the neck and playing all these fast notes and just constant notes and whatnot. And yes, technique, it's flawless and awesome and sounds good at times. But for the most part, I think at times we all, and I tend to do this too, we play a little bit too much notes. You know, nobody likes the guy that talks too much, right? Same thing on guitar. Cut down on the notes. Just try it. Leave some space you know, in, in pockets, then play fast again, right? Or lots of notes, but try to cut down on the notes, be more expressive, leave space, slide into a note, bend it, hold it, vibrato, really work the notes and milk the emotion from them. Then go back to burning. You guys and gals have been a great crowd, so I'm gonna give you another bonus tip. This is number 12, so top 12 tips to make your electric guitar sound better. You want your guitar to sound a little bit heavier, maybe a little bit thicker, easy way to do that, tune to E flat. E flat tuning, right? Each string of the guitar goes down a half a step. So low to high, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Lots of guitar players have used this. You know, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Alice in Chains. Black Sabbath may have been the first in the heavier bands to, to, to bring in this detuning this, right? Um, all goes back to Black Sabbath for sure. Uh, but anyway, that it really makes your guitar sound heavier and thicker. Just that half step, I mean, it's amazing how different your guitar is going to sound um, just that half step down. I hope you enjoyed these top 10 tips. I hope they help you along in making your electric guitar sound best as possible. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You know that really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as then you'll be notified uh, when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this uh, video. Let me know what tips you have for making your guitar sound better. Let's share and get some dialogue going back and forth, right? And also don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box. Get my free video lesson and ebook on uh, essential rock soloing, uh, scale diagrams, it's packed. I'll send them both to you, the video lesson and the ebook for free. Just click on that link below. And if you wanna check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. I'm really stoked about it. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. Check it out. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to that in the YouTube description box. And then, you know, give it a listen. If you have any questions on the songs or maybe on the gear I use or the studio production, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciate it, right? Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep experimenting. Stay creative. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey.